Now, I'm going to say what many people are thinking. We might, just might, have too many diversity and inclusion advisors in the workforce. And by might, I mean we definitely do. Look, I'm a pro-opportunity, pro-meritocracy, pro-representation kind of girl. I do want to see people of different ethnicities and from working class backgrounds being included as much as possible in the workforce. Of course I do. But do we really have to artificially engineer every aspect of it? Do we really need to oversaturate every industry with diversity and inclusion roles across every pay band? Take the NHS, that institution we keep getting told is strapped for cash and close to being crippled. Well, it has a whole range of diversity and inclusion roles, and the going rate isn't bad at all. In fact, some of these chiefs make more than some actual doctors, certainly junior doctors. So, some of you might be thinking, oh, well, I might just quit my day job and jump on this diversity and inclusion bandwagon. Well, here are some roles you might consider. You can be a head of equality and diversity and inclusion. An equality, diversity and inclusion project manager, maybe. An equality, diversity and inclusion system project manager. An assistant director of equality, diversity and inclusion, or a director of equality, diversity and inclusion. Or you might consider an organisational development manager for equality, diversity and inclusion. What do those things even mean? Well, here is just one job description. A head of diversity and inclusion is, quote, responsible for providing in-depth diversity and inclusion expertise and advice, ensuring that advice provided is positive, proactive and influential in its contribution. Um, OK, then. Look, I hate to use hyperbole, said no journalist ever, but I think the diversity lobby is running a bit of a racket. Some diversity advisors are making a fortune. Take Robin D'Angelo, author of best-selling book White Fragility, which is effectively a diatribe against every white person to ever walk the earth. She's estimated to make $728,000 a year from speaking engagements, charging an average of $14,000 a speech. That's right, for the bargain price tag of only £10,000 sterling, you too can have a white lady with a doctorate in multicultural education lecture you about how you need to be less white. No, really, diversity training she gave to Coca-Cola only a few months ago literally encouraged people to be less white. It's all quite bizarre. That's not how you solve racism. Unsurprisingly then, diversity and inclusion degrees have begun popping up. You can now get a Master's in Diversity, Inclusion and Equality. Yes, I do think the diversity lobby is too big, but to be honest, with the industry booming, diversity chiefs making big bucks, and companies scrambling to prove they're definitely not racist, training to be a diversity officer might just be the smartest move someone looking to make a career move can make.